All right, so I am actually trying to salvage a really nasty mohair fleece. Um, <clears throat> this was really, really dirty. And, whoops, sorry. Um, it was so dirty, in fact, that I didn't actually even want to pick through it while it was dry and get any of the nasties out. Um, the dust from a fleece like this uh, aggravates my allergies and my sinuses. So, um, while I'm not allergic to mohair, I do tend to um, react to, uh, like, hay dust uh, that, you know, gets picked up in the fleece. So, you can see this is, um, I have this in a first soak in a tub here, and I just filled this uh, with cold water, but this fleece is loaded with, like, poop and hay, which I am going to be picking out um, as much as I can before I actually put it in the first bath with soap. So I'm just soaking it right now um, to get some of this dust out so that I can actually uh, work with it. Um, given the opportunity, it's definitely better to pick through this when it's dry. It's a lot easier to get stuff out when it's dry. On the plus side, mohair doesn't felt like wool. Um, it can, it can be felted to some extent, but it takes a lot to felt uh, mohair. So um, I'm not too worried about picking through this like I would be if this was uh, wool from a sheep. Um, but yeah, so pause this for a second. All right, so here we are back at the sink. Um, I've got some that I moved from that bin on the floor into some uh, soapy water. This is just a uh, Dawn dish soap. I know uh, people have their preferences. I have some of the really nice, fancy, expensive soap that I actually reserve for uh, my wools. But uh, mohair goats have a wax rather than lanolin. And I have found that if I don't use something a little... Uh, stronger, like, uh, you know, Dawn dish soap, that it actually doesn't break down the wax if your water is not, like, scalding hot. So right now, and I may end up putting this in a really scalding hot bath, but not yet. I'm still working on just the initial pick-through and getting some of this preliminary dirt out. You can see how nasty this water is. But those white locks are in there. They're just... Uh, we just have to give them a chance to emerge. And then from there, um, I did one batch already earlier, and we're in a rinse bath here. So um, you can see there's still a ton of vegetable matter in there, or VM, which is like hay, bits of dirt. Um, there's an occasional little spot of poop still. But... Um, working through uh, getting this clean. It may not be snow white when I'm done, just because you know it was really, really dirty, but um, <laughs> this is pretty incredible to look at this from where we started that. So um, it's definitely usable, it's salvageable. Um, I may end up using this to spin uh, for a carpet warp. I'm gonna see how it comes out when I'm done. Um, I may card some of it. We'll see. This is from an adult nanny, so I don't expect it to be like kid fine. Um, but it's not bad. And like I said, definitely is worth saving. Um, I'm also thinking that I may be able to spin this fine enough um, and chain ply it and use it for cinch making or maybe dog collars. I have an idea for some uh, collars that I could weave. So. We'll see how it turns out in the end, but for right now, I just am getting it clean so that we can actually uh, either comb it or get it on the carter and uh, take a closer look at it. So anyway, yeah, can you see? Yuck. So we're working on that. Um, all right. That's the beginning. Uh, I will be back once we've got some dried and you can see how this uh, salvage turned out. All right, quick update. So I just want to give you a overview of where we're at <clears throat> after some washing today. 
So we've gone from this, and I hope you can see this well. I don't know if that'll help. That's not going to help. But from this nasty stuff to this <clears throat> with our initial washing and picking. <clears throat> There's still definitely some um, yellow tips here. They're stained. Um, I'll probably pull those out. Actually, I may end up dying most of this anyway. Um, but I'm really, really pleased with how nicely this uh, did come out compared to um, what we started with. So you can save it. <laughs> it takes a, a bunch of work and a lot of water uh, some time, but you can save it. And um, once this is dry, I'm going to probably comb it because these locks are really long. And I think that it's going to <clears throat> result in, um, you know, that's going to get out uh, any of these little bits of vegetable matter that still might be in here. You can see them there little bits and pieces but it's really not bad um considering how much hay and poop was in it um there's a couple spots but all in all um once this is dry most of that's going to fall right out and i will comb i'll be combing this out um just because i think it's going to give me a better end uh, product than if i put it on the drum carter so all right i will be back with part two uh once this is dry and uh, we're coming. Take care. Bye-bye.